What do you think about Brady leading these workouts despite the strong recommendations not to? Yeah, Ryan, that's the key right there. Obviously, I, I live in Florida. We've seen a huge spike. There's a very serious medical situation going on in our country. However, with that said, there's a lot of me that actually admires and respects what Tom Brady is doing. You know, we recently saw Michael Jordan in the last dance. Is there anybody that doesn't think that Michael Jordan would be practicing right now? When you're an all-time competitor the way Jordan or Tom Brady is, they have sort of this psycho sociopathic approach of like, I don't care what other people think, the task at hand is to win professional football games for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, and what's ever in my way, I'm gonna conquer. So I think there's a little bit of a delicate balance. Tom has to re remember he has such a big mantle in society that he has to be maybe a little bit more measured in his words, but in a lot of ways, I understand and respect as a competitor what he's doing. Dominique, what do you think? Well, I mean, I think he's would. Uh, I know that Mike is very sure, and, and I understand that Mike understands how dangerous this situation is. However, it's hard for me to get behind a nonsense quote like that. Like, that's useless in this time. It's as if science does not exist. And I think that it's important to understand that Tom is showing, that you are saying that he's showing through this how committed he is to winning, but I would say that it's not necessarily showing that. It's showing a risk that could make this make it harder for this team to win and could make it harder for us to have a season altogether. And the last thing I would say is that not all problems need to be solved the same way. Like, every everything that you look at as an obstacle is not a nail that you need to hammer. And I think that there are other ways to find to prepare for this season that do not send a message to the public at large that this is not an issue and do not put your and, and will not put your teammates and their families at risk. Like, I can't imagine. This is what we talked about in the first segment. I cannot imagine taking a risk like this at this moment and then finding out uh, a few weeks from now that somebody that I truly love and care about has gotten infected with this disease <laughs> because Tom Brady posted some foolish quote. Dan, jump in. That's a good word, Dom. A lot of times, us athletes have to do everything we can to get ourselves out of our athletic mindsets. You know, we're right. often trained to go, go, go and conquer and nothing can stop us type thing. Mike T mentioned the spike in Florida and how severe the cases are down there with the medical situation. My hope, this is my, my, my optimistic hope, is that Tom Brady has had very sincere conversations with everybody attending these workouts going, listen guys, we are going to do these workouts, but... It is mandatory that you wear a mask in, all, mask in all situations outside of here, that you are social distancing, that you aren't living life like in pretending that COVID is not existing, that you're, you're self-quarantining. And maybe those conversations have had to allow these workouts to take place because if those conversations haven't happened and Tom Brady hasn't been very clear that, hey guys, we are doing everything we can to put this at the at the forefront and we are masking and social distancing and quarantining and everything like that, then yes, this would be something that is irresponsible. But, but if he has had those conversations and those guys have committed to that, I, I get the football sense of it. And again, trying to right. get myself out of the athletic mindset. Mm -hmm. right. you know, but isn't it, isn't it just like ahead. a basic risk, risk uh, reward analysis in this situation? It's like, how much is this really rewarding their offense? Like, is it going to get them three, four percent better? It just doesn't seem worth the risk to me, given well, everything that's going on. And I, I love my teammates and I trust my teammates as much as I can trust. 20-something-year-old uh, single sure. males. Like, that, yeah. That's not happening. Trust me. You know me. what? And, guys, yeah. and, and Dom, guys, I just want to jump in I'm for sorry. a second because here's the thing. I'm just going to play devil's advocate here. The U.S. had the highest single-day number of cases of COVID-19, 40,000. Just yesterday, the protocols in the NFL are still a work in progress. Florida's got cases spiking. Is anybody concerned? And, Mike, I'll ask you this. Are you concerned that while what Brady might be doing is necessary to prepare for the season for him, that – and Dom touched on this earlier – that it might make it harder to have a season or continue a season if other guys follow suit and we have more uh, exposures and, and more possible positive tests. Ryan, that's a completely fair point. And I think that's the ultimate balancing act that we've been talking about throughout the show. On the one hand, the cases are spiking in big states like Florida, and we have to take all reasonable cautions. We all need to wear masks when we're outside. But then on the other part, Nick just talked about it, where you have – maybe a 3 or 4% chance of improvement, Tom Brady would be out there if there was a half a percent chance of improvement because that's what makes him such a great competitor. So we do have to take all reasonable precautions. That is first and foremost. And then within that context, 
these guys are going to do what they can to get ready because I know in the back of Tom Brady's mind, he's saying, well, what did Teddy Bridgewater do today? Did Matt Ryan work out with the Falcon receivers? Hey, isn't Drew Brees out in Southern California working with his guys? So that's a little bit of the mindset, but we do need the bounce, Ryan, because we don't want to jeopardize the season.